Okay, so now John Cena is in charge of everything related to Raw. Which I'm pretty jealous with, including SmackDown, Main Event, and Superstars. So we're back to the guest host, or guest general manager bit. This week we get Daniel Bryan. Okay, that, that works. I'm, I'm cool with Daniel Bryan. Let me pause on this. I'm cool with Daniel Bryan. I like that. That works. He then has the authority escorted out to the massive yes chance. Okay, it's fine. It works, I guess. Calls out Team Authorita. Beats put them all in matches. He's like, all right, Seth Rollins, used to handicap matches. I'm gonna put you in one. You get some partners, and you're gonna take on Cena and Ziggler. All right. How will he decide who his partners are going to be? Well, that's up for the universe to decide. So as always, you're pretty much only given one option. You could have had, if you want to see, it was uh, Kane, Mark Henry. Or you could have had Luke Harper, Mark Henry. Or Jamie Noble Boy and Joey, Mar and Joey Mercury. I'll just jump right to the end. So, you can pretty much guess that they picked Noble and Mercury because, you know, cruiserweights. Awesome. They play the part of the Stooges. They both eat finishers. So Ziggler and Cena can continue their winning ways. Then Seth Rollins gets into the ring. And he eats super kick and an AA. Then a doo-loop, doo-loop. Wait a minute. <clears throat> yeah, the raw, the anonymous raw general manager ended up being Hornswoggle because it's going to be Cyber Monday next week, and they end it with just like the guy's like, doo -loop, doo -loop, doo -loop, flashing the lights, just pissing off the crowd. And it's like, really? Last time you end with Sting, tonight you end with the anonymous raw general manager. Okay, but all the other members of the authority had something else to do. Corporate came became concessions came. With hilarious results. Mark Henry took on the man who def who he uh, beat two years ago at WrestleMania. Ryback. Yeah, back when Ryback went from like massive face push John Cena injury, weird meandered feud with Shield time. Up to WrestleMania, they had that rebound feud with Mark Henry that they lost and they became a heel and feud with John Cena. Yeah, that time. And Ryback Prince just demolished Henry. Okay. Meat hook close, no shell shock. So it didn't worry about boxing at all. Just big, stiff Stan Henson and JBL clothesline. One, two, three. All right. Okay. Harper. Got the defendant's IC title against Dean Ambrose. Nice, vicious match. Ended in DQ when Harper pushed Ambrose into the ref. One of those really weird sort of like ref bumps. Just like ref takes a hit, doesn't fall down. Like oh, DQ. Like eh, kind of weak. But then you got to have Bray Wyatt attack Dean Ambrose, throw him over the table, and then bury him in chairs. Like, okay, that worked out pretty well. Joe came down and cut a promo that was a combination of him getting ready to cry and then yelling and then being like, Joe in the back, got a problem with me. And Eric Rowan comes down with his really odd, like, children's keyboard xylophone sort of music. Got in the ring to be like, I don't like bullies, and then proceed to beat the crap out of Big Show. I was like, alright, I guess that's their view. Miz down on the Miz defended their newly acquired tag team belts against a team of gold and Stardust. Miz took a face full of steps, which made Miz down pretty much control the majority of the match. Miz shows up near the end, tags himself in. Skull crushing finale, one, two, three, they retain their belts. Decent match, worked well. 
the new and improved Muy Caliente El Fandango. Brum. Made his re debut emergence. And he took on Justin Gabriel in a match that was pretty much like the match he had last night for the pay per view. Or the kickoff show that you could have seen on YouTube, Pentagram, Interest, Twitter, Yelp, Ash, the network. So, alright. Rusev was pretty much told that he was going to have to either get involved in this massive battle royal company wide with talent or say the Pledge of Allegiance. He comes down to the ring. Sergeant Slaughter tries to force him to say the Pledge of Allegiance. Lana begins to say the Pledge of Allegiance. Rusev grabs the mic and is like, no, nah, I'm putting on my big boy pants now. You ain't doing this. Rusev say no. Sergeant Slaughter hangs in his face, and then Jack Swagger comes down and attacks Rusev. In a match reminiscent of what we saw leading into SummerSlam earlier this year. But it'll work, because, you know, those two together make for a pretty good match. Biggie Langston had it. It's a New Day promo. And then at the end, they showed them all combining together to form the New Day Coalition. Because Xavier Wood, he was smart. Keep it the New Day. Biggie Langston, strong. Get ready for New Day. Kofi Kingston, he quick. Get ready for New Day. And together they will be smarter, stronger, and quicker. Get ready for New Day. So you got the, the, the strong guy, the smart guy, and the quick guy. Man. Throwing a D, which is called Fantastic Four. You get over it. In fact, he better yet. Sue Storm, Visible Woman. They've got a diva with them right now. They are the Fantastic Four. You've never seen them. It's like Roger Corman style. Sure, why not? You know, Kofi, nice dress shirt, looking all spiffy. Xavier Woods, nice dress shirt, looking all spiffy. Biggie Langston, white Haynes shirt, blue jeans. Oh yeah, I, I know they probably make a button-up shirt that would fit like the smallness that he is and it's like no. So like the two nice dressed guys and just dressed like regular? I mean come on. You know, slap slap a nice a nice button down shirt, a tie on Biggie Lane, come on. Have them all the same. Oh and Bree went Bree on on AJ. So she drank heavily and then fell all over the place. She kind of got the, the victory after pseudo twin magic for some reason, whatever. So I guess Bree and Nick are on the same page now because that massive month long storyline of Cinderella was just. So I guess AJ's going to take on both Bellas now? Maybe they'll be able to put her career on the line. It'll be like her career versus the title on a pole match. Or a ladder match for the Divas Championship. So, so I guess now the Total Divas can't win. The championship has now gone out the window. Pretty much the whole Divas cast is now on Total Divas. Yay! Maybe, kind of, I don't know. Adam Rose and the Bunny took on Natalia and Tyson Kidd in an intergender, interspecies match. Just like they did, I think it was SmackDown? SmackDown? And it was every bit as good with Adam Rose getting screwed over by the bunny. But hey, Tyson Kidd got to be on TV. And he got to win. Next week, they said it's going to be Cyber Monday, which lines up with Cyber Monday. I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. So I guess that also means then the, the, the group of A New Day, I guess we'll see them on SmackDown. 